Paddle rackets weigh between 340 and 380 grams. Is it more difficult to move a 380 gram racket than a 340 gram racket? It is not always like that and now you will understand why I say this. Hello to all players, I'm Pablo and I welcome you to a new 4 set. In a paddle racket, the materials influence a lot in its performance, but in the same way, the weight influences a lot. It will not work for you to use a very good racket that you cannot move comfortably, but more important than the weight itself is how it is distributed, and that is called balance. We can define balance as the point of equilibrium of the mass distributed around the racket, or more simply, the point of equilibrium. Each racket has a different balance, so we need to understand if that benefits us or not. In addition, I will show you some tricks to modify the balance if you want to. But let's go step by step. But first of all, do you know that 60% of the people who watch this video is not subscribed? It doesn't cost you anything and makes me really happy. Once we know theoretically what balance is, how can we measure it? The easiest is to take your paddle racket, place it on the end of a table and find the balance point. That point is the balance of your racket and we just need to measure it. The most normal is something between 24 and 28 centimeters. It seems like a little difference, but believe me, it can make a huge difference. Another less precise way is to hold it with your fingers and find the point of equilibrium. Generally, you will get it in some holes of your racket. Simply measure it and you will know the balance again. However, you have to be careful when measuring the balance. Is your racket brand new? Have you put an overgrip on your racket? Keep in mind that any gram affects the balance. So you should do this with a new racket and seal it or with the overgrip configuration you play with. The balance of your racket will go up if you remove the standard grip or if you add a protector to the top of the racket. The balance of your racket will go down if you remove the protector or add some overgrips. That's why using overgrips or the protector are the easiest way to modify the balance, but there are other methods. Many sporting goods stores sell lead strips that you can add to your racket. If you want to raise the balance, you should place them on the top of your racket, and the other way around if you want to lower the balance. You can even add silicone inside the grip after having removed the stopper. This is a trick that several racket brands use to increase the weight without adding some layers. But let's get down to the important stuff. In paddle rackets, we can differentiate two differences of balance, high balance and low balance. Let's focus first on high balance. We consider that a racket has a high balance when it measures 26.5 cm or more. But what does it mean that a racket has a high balance? That there is more weight distributed in the upper part of the racket. So what are the main strengths of having a high balance on your racket? First of all, the weight transfer thanks to the lever effect. By having more weight at the top, our racket will acquire more acceleration in any downward movement. We feel doing an smash that it can get more speed. Obviously thanks that we have more weight at the top of our racket. A paddle racket with a high balance is easier to use for a tennis player. Think that the length of a tennis racket is 27 cm longer than a paddle racket. By having the weight more at the top, we simulate that the paddle racket is farther away from the hand, similar to a tennis racket. Also, having a high balance, the most normal thing is that our racket has a stiffer and heavier upper surface, so we will get more powerful shots with this area. Think about this if you are that kind of players that always hit the ball with the upper part of the racket. However, high balance also has its weaknesses. And the main one is the loss of comfort. Why? Because the racket feels far away from our hand. The higher the balance, the farther the way of the racket is from our hand and the less feeling of control we will have. And at the same time, having a high balance affects our agility moving the racket. We will notice how, when preparing the shot for a bandeja or a volley, the racket will be more difficult to move and sometimes we can get late to the shot. I notice especially when I do a bandeja with a high balance racket. It costs me more to prepare the shot and then I feel that I am late when hitting. Furthermore, a high balance also forces us to do a greater physical effort, so take care. We have analyzed the high balance, so it's time to do the same with the low balance. A paddle racket will have a low balance when its balance measures 26 cm or less. But what does it mean that a racket has a low balance? That there is more weight distributed in the lower part of the racket. And the main strength of this is the comfort. By having the weight close to the hand, the feeling will be practically like hitting the ball with your hand. With this, first, we will be able to have greater agility in our movements. And second, we will need to do less physical effort to move the racket. And that is better for your health. 
But what can we achieve moving the racket better? More spin! If we move our racket slowly, it will be super difficult to add spin to our shot. However, with a low balance and greater agility, we will be able to move the racket better and transmit more spin to the ball. As the main point against having a low balance, we find a reduction in the acceleration in that one shot. And this means to reduce the power in our smash. If a rocket has a balance between 26 or 26.5 cm, we can consider it like an intermediate balance. As it is logical, the intermediate balance is something between the high and the low. But Pablo, what do you recommend for me, a high balance rocket or a low balance rocket? If you are not clear, you should try both combinations. However, I can see some clear examples where I should advise you. If you are someone that is just starting playing paddle and not played tennis before, try a low balance racket. If you have pain on your arm, want to have the maximum comfort or want to move the racket super fast, play with a low balance racket. If, on the other hand, you used to play tennis, you have a really good physical condition or you always hit the ball with the upper part of the racket, try a high balance racket. Do you have any questions? Leave it in the comments. Thank you so much for watching the video and see you in the next one. Ciao!